Unibees. How are you today? Oh, so Halloween is over and Christmas is coming and trying to get ready for all of that. So I have a few things to talk to you about. Not a lot, but a few things. Um, just more jibber jabber than anything, I think. <laughs> uh, I got a message from Trisha Mama Swift and she has the sisterhood of the traveling hook yay uh she just put up her video so if you look in my playlist it is there um for those of you that are new that don't know about the sisterhood of the traveling hook last year i had sent around a furls hook for people to try before they buy and I had a whole list of people from all across Canada, like YouTubers, all across Canada, down into the States. I had another hook that I sent to Australia. That one's already back. Um, and so the, the, this hook is on its last legs to come back to me. There's only a few more people that are left. And so Trisha is um, now sending it to Nancy at Nan's Next Knots, I believe it is. So keep a lookout for her video. Uh, I have a whole playlist of everybody that has had the traveling hooks. So if you look in my playlist, you'll be able to see all the videos of everyone who got the hook and what they made. So go check out that playlist. I will leave that here. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's been a lot of fun. And it's gone quite a ways. It's, it's actually really cool. So what I did was I got, um, I bought a furls hook. And I got a little journal book. And I made some stitch markers. And I put that in there. And I put some Clorox wipes in there. And I sent it out to everybody to get them to see what they thought of the hook. A few people didn't like it. A lot of people did. And uh, they actually went out and bought their own furls hooks. So it's been quite an experience. I've been just so thrilled to watch the expressions on people's faces, to hear their opinions. Um, it was my way in the... It, when. COVID was going around and people were in lockdown. It was my way of bringing the community close together because when COVID hit, it seemed like everybody um, disbanded. They, some people weren't doing videos anymore. Uh, depression started setting in within the community. Um, it just, it all felt really disjointed and I didn't like that. I, I was like, no, this is the time when we need to be together as a community. So I came up with the idea of the sisterhood of the traveling hook. And it has been amazing. It's, um, <laughs> it's just unbelievable. Uh, I'm so happy to have been able to do it. And I'm still trying to figure out if I'm going to do it next year or not. I did it for um youtubers only because that way uh i was able to get videos out for everyone to see what their opinions were so that all of the subscribers of their channels would be able to say hey i tried this hook i liked it i didn't like it i'm indifferent you know things i liked about it things i didn't like about it and this is what i made so it it was I was able to get out a broader audience uh, for the Furls Hooks. Um, no, I'm not affiliated. I wish I was, <laughs> but they don't do affiliations for Canada. You know, sometimes Canada really sucks. <laughs> um, so anyways, Furls Hooks are my absolute favorite hook. I don't use anything else. I have 
bunch of them. <laughs> so I really wanted to get everybody to try it and see if they liked it because a lot of people didn't have never touched a furl hook. They couldn't imagine spending the kind of money that furls charges for a hook. But for some people that have arthritis or have RA or have other issues where their hands cramp if they use a small hook or if they just they can't crochet for long periods of time sometimes the furls hook can really help and that's why I got them um, excuse me I wanted to try them out and I did right the Odyssey hooks are heavier the streamline hooks are lighter the Odyssey hooks take a lot longer to get used to you do get pain in your hand and sometimes with the furls hooks too because they have a a bigger bulk to them. Um, if you've never seen a furls hook, hang on. This is the one that came back from Australia. Okay. This part of the hook fits nicely in your hand. I'm a pencil holder, so I hold my hook like this. The thing that I noticed with some people that were pencil holders, they couldn't figure out how to hold the hook. They didn't want to hold it up here, which you don't. They didn't, they, some people um, hold their fingers right close to their work, right? I, I hold my furls like right in here. Okay. Um, I found that if I put hand cream on my hands, uh, it stops from the slipping, right? But it takes some getting used to. With a furls hook, you need to kind of twist the hook as you're working, right? Um, but I tell you, like after about two weeks of using the hook, like you're supposed to use it for like five minutes, put it down, use your other hook. Pick it up again at some point, use it for 10 minutes, put it down, right? Like you work into it. And you will find that you might get a pain that goes up or down your arm and your hand because you're not used to it. But once you do get used to it, these hooks are amazing. I absolutely love this hook. Um, so anyways, that was my whole point to doing this because there was a lot of interest in furls when like when I started this but everybody was just like oh I just don't want to spend $25 on a hook or $30 on a hook if I've never used it before okay now for those of you that haven't been part of the um that are yarnabies that haven't been part of the sisterhood of the traveling hook I'm going to give you a little tip if you go on Amazon and you look up divot D-I-V-I-T, divot hooks, okay? They're extremely similar to the furls hooks, and they're a lot cheaper, okay? So if you're interested in furls hooks, but you don't want to spend the money investing, invest in the money yet, get a divot hook because they're a lot cheaper but they'll give you an idea of what the furls hooks will feel like i believe the divot hooks are a little bit longer uh, but that's okay if you like a longer hook it might work out for you right so i think i can't even tell you how much they are there's a few different types of divot hooks uh, so um, if you're interested try those out for now and if you like it if you if you work with it and you like it then you can invest in a furls okay there you go so that's my whole thing on furls hooks and the travel sisterhood of the traveling hook um so keep a lookout for nancy at nan's next knots for her video and um yeah <laughs> i'll keep you posted <laughs> oh so my sister came over for a couple of days. She stayed over for two nights and she helped me get ready for these two craft fairs that are coming up that I have to do. I haven't done a craft fair in a year and a half and well, 
two two Christmases, I guess. Um, I did not realize how much stock I actually had. Mm. I should have done some video and some pictures of the process that we did, but we I just I wanted to get it done. I was in so much pain. Um, and she was a godsend. She helped me so much to get this done. I love my sister so much. Uh, and it got her out of the house. So we have seven totes to go through. We had to make sure that everything was separated into what, you know, like sweaters, hats, cowl, hat and cowl sets and stuff like that. And then we had to tag it because um, on all of my clothes, I put a washing instructions tag. And on the back of that, I put the price. So we had to do that. And then, you know, we had to sort it all out. Oh, my goodness. And then I bought two um, bookshelves, like these little bookshelves that we're going to be putting on the table. I'm doing my display totally different this year. Oh, I'm hoping it's going to work out. The um, shelving units that I had. Oh, hello, Bella. The shelving units that I had before um, were. Bella, come here. You want to come say hello? My pussy cat's in here. She doesn't come in here very often because I don't let her. Ah. Here we go. Meow. Meow. You say hi to the people. Hey, you say hi to the people? Oh, thank you. Oh, yes, kisses. <laughs> this is Bella. <laughs> say hello. Say hello. <laughs> okay, go on. Um, so anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, we had these bookshelves that we had to put together. We got one done. Oh, I tell you, by the time that we started doing these bookshelf this bookshelf we were so exhausted we were laughing hysterically about nothing um <laughs> she, a, a shelf tried to knock me in the head so we laughed about that and then oh it was just on and on when my sister and i get together we laugh like crazy about the stupidest stuff <laughs> But it makes for a fun evening. <laughs> so, and we didn't even have anything to drink. It was just straight up exhaustion and pain. <laughs> so, but we got it done. And I have one more shelf I need to put together. <sighs> so, but I need help from George to do that because it is definitely a two person job. So, hopefully, we'll get that done this week. Um, what else? What else? Oh, uh, I finally got Billy Crafty Floridian's box and Rosalie from Yard and Out's box done. I am going to be mailing those out today, I hope, if I can get... Rosalie just moved, so I, I misplaced her new address, so I'm waiting for her to contact me to give her, give me her new address. Then I can get these boxes sent out. Oh, thank goodness. I'm like creeping up. It's only got a few weeks before to get there. And I'm hoping it's going to get there in time. Uh, so that's done. Um, the leg warmer tutorial that I just did. I sent the pattern to um, Jeanette at Miss Hootie Hootenin's Crafts. She is my pattern tester. Oh, excuse me. She's my pattern tester. She's not well. She's not well. She just got COVID for the second time. Um, she's, I'm, I'm not pressuring her at all whatsoever. She can just get it done when she gets it done. Oops. oops. Um, I'm not in any hurry at all. Uh, so... Um, when she gets that done, then I'll put it up in the Etsy shop and I'll let you know when it's released. So did you hear 
that the Ghostbusters series um, franchise is coming out with a new Ghostbusters. Uh, did you see the last Ghostbusters? <laughs> I did. And um, I, I'm looking, I'm actually looking forward to the next Ghostbusters. I am. I'm a geeky that way. What is, Bella, what are you doing? Um, so yeah, I, I gotta say, I'm, fr I'm, I grew up in the eighties. What can I say? I'm not an eighties child, but I grew up in the eighties. I was a teenager in the eighties. So, uh, you know, I loved the Ghostbusters series. Mm. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that. I got to finally see Cruella. Uh, <clears throat> it was not what I was expecting. I was pleasantly surprised. It was a little bit of a different spin on the original, um, but it kind of all tied in to the original. So it was kind of cool. I was really happy with it. No, I didn't wear my Cruella sweater while I was watching it. I probably should have. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. How many of you have seen it? And tell me your thoughts on it. Uh, I sent out a package to Madonna Ballard, Miss Madonna, and she received it. I made her a green sweater. Her favorite color is green. I was a little concerned on the sizing because everybody's arm length is different. Uh, it was a little bit, the arms were a little bit long, but that's okay. I didn't put a cuff on it. So she was able to um, fold it up and that's fine. If she wants to tack it down with a stitch or whatever, um, she can do that. So uh, I, she was always saying how cold she was all the time. So I decided to make her a sweater and it looks really good on her. So I'm really happy that she is enjoying it. And uh, it's like a, a warm hug from me. Love you, Madonna. <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. I also wanted to talk to you about my last video. My last video, I had talked about how I had had an epiphany about um, how to find the hole for your stitch. Okay, I got a slew of comments. I got emails from people talking about it. And how they were so happy that I came out with this and it actually helped a lot of people. I was shocked. I thought I was the only one that didn't know this stuff. Um, I got emails and comments from people that have been crocheting for 40 years that, you know, it helped them. And uh, I got so many heartwarming messages and... Uh, I tell you, I, I cried. I did. Um, because it just, in my video, I said, I felt like an idiot, right? I mean, it should have been common sense. It should have been a common sense thing. To me, I thought it was a common sense thing that I just didn't get. But there was a lot of people, uh, new crocheters, older crocheters, um, that went, hey, I never even thought of that, you know, and uh, it just warmed my heart so much. People calling me and saying, you're not an idiot. This, this was a problem that they had too. So I was just like, Oh, you got to be kidding me. You mean I, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I felt so much better. I felt, I was like, oh, thank goodness. I'm actually helping someone. I thought I was just, I was embarrassed. I was so embarrassed and I, I contemplated whether to put the video out or not. And I'm so glad I did. So thank you so much, you guys, for supporting me and for encouraging me. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm so grateful to have you guys in my life. Uh, I really am. So I, 
Um, if I ever come up with another epiphany, <laughs> I'll let you guys know. But I did notice too that some there were some comments that I didn't even think to talk about. Was that when you're looking when you're doing a round, you're doing it in a round, then it's a P. But if you're flipping your work, it's a Q. Right? And I was like, oh, right, I guess I should have said that. Right? So now every time I do a crochet project, I'm always looking, going, oh, P. Q, P, Q. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing now. <laughs> it's totally, it's just, you know. Um, so I, I'm just, I'm thrilled that it went over as good as it did and, uh, and that I could be of some help. So thanks again, you guys. Anyways, that's all I have to tell you. Uh, I, oh, I did make, uh, I had a, I had the weirdest thing. Um, I got a message on my Etsy store. And it was a lady that lives here in Nanaimo. And she asked me, she says, are you the lady that does the craft fairs in the Cowichan Valley? And I was like, yes, I am. And uh, she wanted to order something from me. And I was like, I have never had anyone contact me on my Etsy page from here, right? And I thought, how did she even know I had an Etsy page? Yeah, so I thought that was the, I, I was shocked. And uh, I was thrilled, but I was shocked. So anyway, she wanted a hat, a cowl, and fingerless glove set. And she said that when she saw me at the Cowichan exhibition, uh, I think it was a Cowichan exhibition. That's the only one that I do out there. Um, that I was, I made hats and stuff out of alpaca and that she, uh, she bought one and she says that she's always had a problem with itchy scalp when she's worn hats, I guess from the sweating or whatever. Uh, and some yarns are itchy. I introduced her to the alpaca. Bella, what are you doing? So I introduced her to the alpaca and uh, she says she's, she hasn't had an itchy head since. So I don't use alpaca anymore because I started developing uh, sensory problems and itchy fingers and stuff. So I now inter I'm introducing her to Karen Latte Cakes. Uh, so I made her set in Karen Latte, and I'll put a picture here. Um, it turned out really well. The latte cake that I used was blackberry. Um, it seems like my latte cakes are lasting forever. I didn't realize how many latte cakes I had. <laughs> so, um, they turned out pretty good. Uh, and I'm really hoping that she's going to like them. Now, latte cakes are very silky, very silky. And usually like I will mix it with something right? Like an acrylic of some sort, but I didn't have a thin enough yarn to mix it with. So I ended up using two cakes of the latte and they are slick. <laughs> like I had to put the fingerless gloves on and I was like, Oh, they are slippery. So I'm hoping they don't just whoop slide right off her hands. <laughs> the hat and cowl should be fine. Uh, but the the fingerless gloves are very silky. They they feel wonderful, but we'll see how that goes. So I'll let you know. She was I sent her the picture and she's absolutely thrilled. So she's going to be coming tomorrow to pick them up. So yeah, but that's the only order that I've had so far. I'm wondering how many orders I'm going to have after I do the craft fair. Uh, I hate doing orders from craft fairs because I run it. I, I, I'm on a time crunch 
for Christmas. And so usually I just say, you know, this is what I got, you know, and that's it. I've got a lot of stock guys, a lot. So hopefully everybody can find something that they like. Anyway. Okay. So that's it. That's my story. I'm sticking to it as George would say. Okay. So thanks for joining me. If you're new here, thanks for coming and seeing what I'm all about. I hope you stick around and I hope you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and don't forget the notification bell. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Bye. Thank you.